what's up everybody and welcome back to another action figure review. Today I'm going to be checking out NECA's Shredder from Steve Barron's Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. This Shredder is of course an older action figure as I'm sure all of you guys out there already know and have him in your collections. But he's not in mine. Not just yet. Today, I'm going to be busting this guy out of here, checking out his sculpt, all his wonderful details, his articulation, his paint job. You guys know the drill. And with that, let's take a closer look at NECA Shredder from the original Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. And here he is, guys, our Shredder from the original Ninja Turtles film. I love the window box here so we can take a look at all the amazing details on this Shredder, as well as his accessories. Very simple box. Overall, we have the logo down here, Shredder's name at the bottom. Let's turn to the side here. Some product shots of Shredder up top right here. These look exactly like from the movie. It's ridiculous, guys. Let's flip to the back here real quick. And on the back, of course, we have some product shots of Shredder here. We have a little bio of him, and it says, now you can catch America's favorite green teens in their first First live action blockbuster film. After wading in a puddle of radioactive waste, these radical reptiles are transformed into New York's greatest crime fighting quartet. Their biggest enemy, the Shredder. Ruthless leader of the Foot Clan, a criminal organization that's terrorizing the city. This highly detailed action figure stands 7 inches tall and features 30 points of articulation, including double elbows, to showcase Shredder's steely skills. Flipping to the side here, we have another awesome product shot of Shredder. I love the lighting in this picture, especially behind his leg and the back lighting in general. Looks really nice, little glare on the top of his helmet there. And that's it for the packaging on this Shredder, guys. Now let's go ahead and bust him out of here. Just look at how sick this Shredder looks. And here is the Shredder. Guys, I am absolutely in love with this action figure right now. I just spent the last 20 minutes playing around with this guy and I couldn't really put him down. Just look at how sick this guy looks with his cape. So much detail. I love everything about it. I love that it's a soft good. The reflective like in the film. I love that scene actually in the film where you actually get to see Tatsu, who we don't have a figure of yet, uh, roll back Shredder's cape just so that he can reveal these crazy shoulder spikes right here. Oh, I feel like Tatsu right now doing that. I love this guy. I, I don't know what, what to say about him. I'm floored right now. I love the way he looks. I love his sculpture, his design. Guys, I'm just so pumped to finally complete the TMNT movie line that I started so long ago. But honestly, I don't really have anything bad to say about this guy first off. Uh, the, the, the one thing that I have noticed that his, his hands actually fall off real easily if you're trying to move him any sort of way and like bend him back and forth. You just saw that arm fall right off and I wasn't really doing anything with it. And now that his hand has fallen off, let's just take a quick look right here. You can see, just like the foot soldier that had those arm bracers, Shredder also has something very similar where you can actually pull off the, uh, the bracer like that. And it just slips right back on. In order to secure it, you just put the hand in there. I'm just so in love with this guy. I really, really like the, the details and the sculpt, particularly in his clothing and in his greaves and his gauntlet, his helmet. But let's just take a quick look at all the details, the sculpt and the paint job. Taking a look at his legs and his greaves, there's texture all over this guy. And wherever you run your finger, you can feel some kind of texture. All the details here in the greaves, you can see tiny little chain mail links. The spikes look absolutely awesome. And what's great about his greaves and his gauntlets, and these spikes actually, is that they're actually very soft. So you won't actually hurt yourself that much. Actually, they are kind of sharp, so just be careful. But you can bend them a little bit. I don't want to try to put any pressure in case I'm going to break it. But look at all the details and the wrinkles in his foot. You can see all the studs, like the bolts and the, the screws in his greave. Look at all those details in there. And the paint job looks really nice. Doesn't look like uh, NECA missed a, a spot on these guys, not a blemish. I am going to take his cape off for this review, but let's just take a quick look at it. Really dig that it's a soft goods cape as well, not like a plastic hard cape. 
and it does link onto shred or around shredder's neck by this little clip this little clasp here so all you gotta do is unhook it but there is his cape it looks absolutely awesome very very impressed with that taking a look at his pants and his shirt and his garb in general and how shiny and sparkly it is you can't really tell how shiny or sparkly it is in the film until uh, the very end of the movie basically when they fight on the rooftop you can really see that it's all wet and gl glycerine. Maybe that's what this is going for, more like a wet look to represent the end of that film. Very nice detail though. Overall, the wrinkles everywhere in his shoulder here. This actually kind of looks like, oh, his gauntlet came off again. This actually does look like the foot soldier garb, especially the shoulder pads here, the wrinkles. It very well could be the foot soldier costume. And what do you know, here is the foot soldier, and it is the exact same sculpt uh, for both foot soldier and shredder. Of course, there is little minor differences like the gauntlets. Obviously, there's spikes on the shredder and on his greaves here, whereas they are a little different, well, very different on the foot soldier, but the torso and the, the, the limbs and the arms and whatnot, everything is the exact same sculpt as the foot soldier. Honestly, it's not a big deal to me. At least it's painted a beautifully different color as well. Taking a look at his gauntlet here, looks absolutely amazing. Look at all the details here. Can you see the chainmail gauntlets, the screws again, the studs? So much detail, NECA. Very straightforward spear, doesn't look too complicated. It's basically a flat, uh, wow. I can't believe how often it's coming off. It's basically just like a flat pole with uh, you know, spikes on the end, uh, two different color paint job there. Very cool, basic, no detail or texture on it. Honestly, it didn't have any texture details in the movie, so, you know, it's movie accurate, I suppose. The shoulder pads look great as well. Again, you got some more of that, more of that chain mail look. The shoulder pads don't come off like the gauntlets and the greaves do. The helmet also does not come off, but actually, let's take out the mask so you can see what's underneath. And there he is, Urokusaki. That is how the Shredder looks. Basically, in the film, they really they really were quite accurate with uh, his portrayal right here. Love that you can see the scarring in his face and across the cheek from Splinter. You. Let's check out this gauntlet, Shredder's Claw Gauntlet. Really big fan of this hand. Really, really love it. Love the, again, more details. You can see all the studs in there. Even the details in his eyes and the paint job in general, like with his cheeks and the skin tone, very well done. The coloring and paint job on this shredder is superb, absolutely flawless. I don't find any issues with it. The paint job on his hands are also very well done. You can actually see uh, multiple colors. It's not just like a color with a wash. You can see like a skin tone and then maybe uh, like a, a rosy look around the knuckles. The inside palm of his hand on some of the accessories look really good. Very dirty and gritty. Love the way his hands and just how everything is painted. Absolutely beautiful job by NECA here. His mask is very nicely done. Looks very good. And you can actually just kind of clip it right into place uh, with these little crevices here in the mask. You can see and there's little spots where his ears are supposed to be. They're actually just like clips for the mask. And you just kind of like pop it into place and it kind of just falls in there. Now his helmet is an absolute highlight. Look how beautiful it is. Nice samurai-esque looking helmet. Love how shiny and glistening and shimmery it is with that metallic paint. It almost does look a little metal. But there he is, guys. There is Shredder and all his details and the sculpt. And honestly, it looks so awesome. It's by far my favorite sculpt of the TMNT movie line so far. Now let's take a closer look at all of Shredder's articulation. As always with articulation, we're starting with his feet. And his ankles have an awesome ankle rocker like that. You can rotate it, spin it, move it up and down. Great, great articulation in his ankle. He doesn't have a toe bend, which is really, really nice in my opinion. Uh, moving on up to his knee, he does have a double jointed knee. So you get those full movement, ninja movement poses like that. Very cool. Definitely, definitely a requirement when it comes down to ninja action figures, as you've heard me say time and time again. And with his thighs, you can actually do the splits with him. 
and you can also rotate that like so moving on to his waist he has a lower swivel below the belt here you can rotate it all the way around very nice now he doesn't have the greatest articulation moving him front and back at the waist like that see how much he can move it's not too too much moving on up to his shoulders he can only lift them about that high so not that high at all just as much as the foot soldier i wish that shredder could lift him a little bit higher i think he deserves to be able to do that but honestly it's not a big big deal you can rotate his bicep and at his shoulder point like that and his elbow can also rotate oh, arm came off again again you could rotate the elbow and he does have a double jointed elbow so you can get some nice elbow drops in there and his wrist obviously can spin and it well comes off very very easily so you can move his hands in and out like that at that little joint in his wrist very good articulation not the best articulation in this figure uh, but it's not bad now of course all the articulation on the left side of shredder does mirror on the right side so you have all those same articulate joints there you know how it goes it's all the same on both sides and of course his head can move up and down it can rotate all the way surprisingly and he does have some, yeah, good good momentum, good articulation looking up, good articulation looking down. Actually, some of the best articulation for considering the size of helmet that he's wearing. So very good articulation in this shredder. Now let's take a closer look at all of his accessories. As you guys saw earlier, he comes with his spear that he uses in the film in the final fight. Uh, fantastic. I love the way he uses it. <laughs> This guy's good. Now he does come with different hand accessories and this is his spear holding hand. So you just slip it in and he has a perfect grip on it. Won't fall out at all. It's not gonna slide. Uh, yeah, it looks and feels great in his hand. Next up, we have this little dagger that Shredder uses to throw at Splinter at the end of the movie when he's hanging off the building. And it comes with its own little sheath as well, which is really nice. The really bad thing about this is that there's no way to attach it. Now, the figure did actually come with this little soft goods elastic belt that you can wrap around Shredder. Now, it's the exact same belt that we saw on the Foot Soldiers previously, and you can just kind of pull it out and slip the dagger back in there like so. And that's really the only way to attach it. It's not optimal. It's not the best. It will slip off unless you just have them on display. So be careful you don't lose that. Let's actually put the dagger in his hand, and there it goes in perfectly in his gripping hand like that. So he has a, a gripping hand for his left with a claw, and he has an open grip hand, just like the original Playmates Shredder. Looks exactly like it, actually. He has the open right hand, so the bare hand. And last hand is his uh, right hand closed fist. And, of course, to swap his hands, you just gotta pull it out, as you guys have been seeing throughout this entire video. His hands keep falling out. And put it in like that the pegs are not gonna break they're very they're, they're pretty thick that's how you swap out his hands it's that simple last but not least for accessories you saw this earlier and that is his cape so it is quite the large cape it will kind of hang on the ground you can see how long it is so it will dangle on the ground like it does in the film when he walks into that big room chamber and there he is everyone that is shredder and all his accessories he honestly looks like he's gonna kick some serious shell it's it's quite awesome as for any issues and gripes i have with shredder i don't have any besides the fact that his hands keep falling off when i try to do and show you guys anything but honestly, it's not a big deal if you're just going to be setting up, setting him up for a Dio or anything. Next up, we're taking a look at Shredder next to other action figures, starting with this foot soldier. Really love this guy. They should be the exact same size. Shredder should be actually a little bit taller because of his helmet. Here is Leo. So you get a good idea of the size of Shredder here. And on this side, we'll take him out and replace him with the Super 7 Wrath. Of course, I have to do it. Playmates Shredder. It's hilarious, the, the difference between these two. I, I love the way he looks, but this is by far the best Shredder action figure that I think we've ever had. At least the best Shredder action figure I've ever had. And I'm so happy that he's part of my collection now. So overall, guys, I really, really love this Shredder. Honestly, how could you not? 
The amount of detail on him is truly insane. As you can see, there's texture and details everywhere your eye leads you. And look how menacing he looks with those spikes and his awesome vicious looking helmet. I love the fact that you could remove the mask itself. It's very cool. I actually had no idea you can do that. The paint application is perfect. I don't see a blemish anywhere on this guy. Just take a look at how awesome that metallic paint looks on his helmet, his spikes, his shoulder pads, his greaves, his gaunt, his weapon. It all looks so, so good. His articulation is awesome and is exactly like the NECA movie line foot soldiers that we saw before. I do like the accessories we get with this guy, especially his spear. The little dagger he comes with is alright, but the star of the accessories I would have to say is his cape. The cape looks absolutely awesome and it gives me the exact same goosebumps that I get when I see Shredder for the first time in the film. This is one figure I've been really wanting to add to my collection for a very long time, and I'm just super pumped that all my foot soldiers have their leader on their side. All right, everyone, thanks for checking out my review of NECA's Shredder from Steve Barron's Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. If you enjoyed today's video, give it a like, comment down below, and let me know if you have this figure and what you like or don't like about it. Let's start a conversation down there, and don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you're into action figure reviews. I'll be posting more photos of Shredder on my Instagram, which you can check out at Claudio underscore Paola, so follow me there for more content. Thanks again for watching, and you can catch me in the next one.